You have an AM5 board and have enabled Expo. Now your computer boots to Windows, but no post screen is visible and you cannot enter BIOS. You have also tried force booting into BIOS by holding Shift while restarting and using the shutdown or FW command, but these only cause the computer to hang. You can try these steps in the following order to resolve the issue. Step 1. Flash the BIOS. Download the latest BIOS into a memory stick and plug the memory stick into the designated port on your motherboard, usually marked as BIOS, or flashback. Flip the PSU power switch on and press, and hold the flash BIOS button for a few seconds until an LED starts flashing. Step 2. Update GPU firmware. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card with a DisplayPort cable, you may need to download and install the latest firmware to allow the GPU to display the post screen while Expo is enabled. Step 3. Use an HDMI cable. If the firmware update doesn't help, connect your display with an HDMI cable. In many cases, this will allow you to see the post screen and enter BIOS. Step 4. Use a 60 Hz display. Sometimes a high refresh rate monitor will not display the post screen even with an HDMI cable while Expo is enabled. If you can, try a 60 Hz display with an HDMI cable. Step 5. Clear CMOs. Unplug the power cord and connect the clear CMOs jumper pins with a metal object for a few seconds, or if your motherboard has won, press the clear CMOs button. This will reset the BIOS. Step 6. Remove CMOs battery. If the previous method didn't work, unplug the power cord and remove the CMOs coin battery. Press and hold the power button for 30 seconds and install the battery again. This will reset the BIOS. If the BIOS reset was successful, we now need to change a few settings before re-enabling Expo. 1. Disable Fast or Quick Boot. Fast Boot may prevent you from seeing the post screen, so it's best to disable it. 2. Disable Memory Context Restore. While this setting allows you to boot faster, it skips the RAM training and uses previous values instead, so it may lead to crashes. This is why it should be disabled. 3. Enable CSM. CSM? Or the compatibility support module is meant to widen the support for legacy hardware, but it also offers better support for high refresh rate monitors connected to a modern GPU with a DisplayPort cable. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like. Questions? Feel free to ask. And remember, always avoid Intel at all costs. That last part was a joke. Intel is a fine choice as well.